What's up, YouTube family? Back with a quick video tip of day for the next 20 days of day, day four. Today is day four. I would suggest everybody to focus on marketing when you first start your business. Add you get all your legal stuff situated, um, you know, whatever business you're doing, any type of service business. In the beginning, don't, you know, don't worry about having the best car. Don't worry about having the best equipment. As long as you got something that's reliable, as long as you got something that's going to work, and that's going to get the job done. Just clean it up and make it look good. But in the beginning, you should be putting more money in your marketing, you guys. Having your brand look good. Uh, don't nobody... <coughs> <coughs> having your brand. We're living in a social media world, you guys. If your brand look good, they're going to hire you. You know what I mean? They're going to hire you. If your website look good, if your uh, if your logo look good, if your ad look good, if that stuff look good, they're going to hire you. Focus on that part. Um, launch your equipment, launch your vehicle, start working and get the person A to B. It's nice and clean. You're going to do good, but dump more money into marketing. Um, that's one thing I wish I would have did in the beginning. I put so much energy into it, which I did reap the fruit of my labor, but it was so many other things I could be doing at that time, but I had to put it in that area. So I would suggest you guys hire your market, uh, a market media agency to hire your online stuff. If you don't have the knowledge to do that, if you don't know know the know how to do it, and have somebody doing guerrilla marketing for you, have somebody going to facilities for you, going to uh, to schools for you, if you're going child transportation, if you're doing commercial clean, y'all know I do pressure washing uh, and transportation, have somebody going to those commercial accounts uh talking to people trying to get bids putting their uh estimates on on their uh commercial properties for pressure washing that's one thing that i'm implementing going into the pressure washing season next year so i would suggest you to just pay somebody to do that stuff for you even if you pay your nephew or your niece y'all sit down y'all have a plan y'all have a budget uh you pay them for 12 hours hey can you go out three days a week uh, go to these places, etc., just to get your brand out there, just to get your name out there. And I will put the money, I will put more money into that the first 90 days. That's what I will be doing on how your presence look, on how your company look as in a whole, as a whole, while you're marketing to these places. But you can pay somebody for, you know, pay them 15, 20 dollars an hour, you know, go out there for you for four hours, pay them 80 dollars, uh, go out there for you three days a week just to get your material you out. You know, you ain't got time to be fooling with that right now. If you had them doing a guerrilla marketing, uh, then you could be focused on another form of marketing, Mark, marketing team. But uh, that's what I would be doing, you guys. I would be more focused on my brand in the beginning, uh, put more money in that. That way I can really figure out my uh, how much I need to scale when I'm at 90 days from now, then you probably can scale back on it. You know, you can fall back. If you had a good place, you're good. Then we're in the mouth probably can kick in at the 90 days, you know. Uh, and you'll probably get referrals from that perspective. But that's what I would be doing. If y'all not doing that, especially y'all that's doing online, don't know exactly what y'all doing, don't know what the heck y'all doing. Y'all need to let a company do that because you're going to waste more money trying to figure it out. If you haven't took no course on it to learn how to do it yourself, don't just be throwing your money away. At least if you pay somebody, you can hold them accountable for it. You can go back, okay, well, hey, when we gonna see progress, we ain't saying no progress, you can fall back for them. If you're gonna use a social media marketing company, make sure they legit, try to find one that's close uh, to your house where you can go into their office at. We got them all around here in North Carolina. Uh, try not to do nothing where you can't really go and see nobody at. Or if you're really gonna go do an online one, do your research heavy, you know, try to do a, uh, a FaceTime call with a more Zoom call to make sure they legit. If you're paying these people two fifty a month, three hundred dollars a month to handle your social media for you, you got to make sure these companies are legit. But they do work. I used something called B Rank when I first started, and I helped my uh, my company Google presence. And to this day, we still get calls from Google from B Rank. And I think I was with B Rank for a year. Don't quote me on B right now because I haven't used them in so long, but they were legit and they did have on my stuff with me in the beginning. Y'all be blessed. I'll catch y'all the next one.